Vertex Crease is a new feature that is added to Blender 3.1. It helps making the modeling process easier so let's get started. I'm going to keep the default cube and make it have more subdivisions by going to the Modifiers tab and choosing Subdivision Surface Modifier. Set the levels to 3. You can edit Vertex Crease by going to Edit Mode. Press N, select a vertex, you can find the vertex crease option here. When you increase the value, the vertex will move to its original location, or the location where it was, before adding the subdivision surface modifier. You can decrease it a little bit to make some cool shapes, this looks like a water drop. Let's go to the object mode and choose shade smooth, then go to the edit mode again and try different crease values for different vertices. It looks wonderful, and please note that setting the crease of two vertices gives a different result than setting the crease of the edge that connects the two vertices. For example, let's increase the crease of these two vertices. This is the result. Now let's choose the edge selection here, and select this edge that is between the two vertices. Increasing the crease gives a different result. Vertex Crease is a great new feature so make sure that you make a good use of it, have fun learning Blender and enjoy your time.